Are you an impulsive person? Now, I admit to you, I am. I used to be this way on cars. I was like a little boy. I'd see a car that I, that I wanted, and I'd do everything that I possibly could to get that car. I haven't been that way for a while, but I was recently when I was in a television store, and I saw a flat-screen TV that was 80 inches, and I'll tell you, my eyes popped out of my head, and I, I'll t- I needed that TV. I needed it like I need air, and uh, thank goodness that uh, my family practically carried me out of the TV store, and uh, thank God. (laughs) Sometimes when we get the results from impulsive decisions, we, we then have to pray our way out of it. Uh, It causes a problem in our lives. Thomas Jefferson once said this. He said, delay is preferable to error. And I agree. Are you sometimes a little too impulsive? Do you occasionally leap before you look? (laughs) Well, I think we all do. If you find it helpful and ultimately comforting, Take a look at what the Bible has to say about impulsiveness. In Proverbs, we're taught to be thoughtful and not reckless. It says in Proverbs 20, verse 25, an impulsive vow is a trap. Later, you'll wish you could get out of it. And yet, the world often tempts us to behave impulsively, to be reckless. Sometimes we're faced with powerful temptations, aren't we? To be impulsive and undisciplined, to go for it, and then later to pay for it. These temptations are temptations that we must resist. It's not that an 80-inch TV is bad, but we have to pray first and uh, perhaps wait for it to go on sale. When you make a habit of thinking first and acting second, you'll be comforted in the knowledge that you're incorporating God's wisdom into your human wisdom, into the fabric of your life, and you will reap the rewards big time. God bestows on folks of wisdom who take the time to look and to think before they leap.